All right, this is the inside of the old Wagner I'm gonna redo. Um, it's got rust on it in the areas, but when I get finished with it, that rust won't matter. Um, I'm gonna take off all the inside and probably the back because the back's kind of coated as well since I can't even make out all the letters on the back. Okay, so I decided to do the back side first of this Wagner and I'm using a little steel wheel like this, a steel wire wheel, um, because this is so caked on, I don't know how good you can see that, that using a composite or a rust remover would just end up clogging up the, the uh, what you, mesh or whatever you want to call it, instead of, uh, and, and I'd go through these a lot faster and these are more expensive than the wire wheels. So using a wire wheel is not going to hurt anything and you can see by the time I finish this, this will all be smooth on the outside and you can already see it's a Wagner wear. It's a 1058D. I already have one of those, but this one is nice and flat. My other one's bowed a little bit, so to cook on a ceramic top stove or a um, induction uh, induction burner doesn't work very well when they're bowed, but when they're nice and flat, they work really well. Uh, the secret to keeping them nice and flat is to heat them up slowly. Don't ever put your cast iron right over a huge flame. You gotta heat them up slowly so they won't warp or bow. All right, so I've gotten to put the handle on here so it's a lot easier to handle this big drill with that. Have a little wire brush. And now I'm getting ready to go around the edges. So it's always good to have it hanging over the edge so that when you take your drill, and you were, you know, going up and down or back and forth. You don't keep hitting the wood. Um, you just do it around. So I have it clamped with a C-clamp. And notice this time I put it, it's underneath this wood. So um, the handle is in between. Um, I don't have to use a cloth because I'm not, the metal's not touching the metal for the C-clamp straight to the handle. But you can see on the back now, you can see Wagner Wear Sydney Zero 11058D. So um, it's coming clean. It's going to look good. Alrighty, a little update on the progress here. See, we're getting around the edges. Hope that's nice and focused in. Um, and also on the back, it gets it really, really smooth. And you can see that it's not actually black metal. Silver. Oh, that's blinding. And so, just work on this side some more. That's all. Using my composite uh, pad now, because my, uh, my little, uh, whatever those are called, wire wheels, they stopped kind of being effective. So I've gone over to my theme rest remover. Okay, to finish off the handle, I had to use a big six inch C-clamp and notice that I put a little thin piece of wood in between there so that I wouldn't have to worry about it scratching up the pan. And now I'm going to try to get the handle and the back side of this, um, because I've been clamping down on the handle, haven't been able to get to this too good. So we'll see how this works. Just a note, I, since this is a reversible drill, I decided to reverse it because the angle I was going at, it would have been better if I, if the, it was turning the other way, it wouldn't be bouncing around so much. However, since this type of pad hooks up with a, um, a screw that drills into the piece that holds it together there, it just came right undone and started flopping all over the place. So uh, beware of that. Okay, here's yet another way to uh, stabilize your pan. I'm gonna work on the handle and I'll go ahead and work on the inside a little bit. Um, but this is another way to stabilize it and you wanna use wood in between your metal you don't want your metal to touch any C-clamp or anything. So, wood to metal. Okay, I want to do a little video to kind of show the difference between how smooth it is. I just I used a little wire brush because it's not, um, I'm not trying to make this smooth. The, 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 the modern day cast irons are kind of bumpy. This one is older, so it's really smooth. So, I'm not trying to do anything with that. I just want to get the, the majority of the stuff out so I can re-season re, re it. Um, so, I'm just using a steel brush on this one. It's a wire wheel, I should say. So here, you can see where we had it, and it feels all, and you can hear the difference. Um, so, I'm just taking it out. Just thought I'd give you a little peek at what it looks like kind of in the progress. Alrighty, here we go. This is my Wagner. Everything's been taken out. You can see this nice and shiny. And on the back, this is what cast iron looks like before it's seasoned. So I'm happy with that. It's nice and smooth. I don't have to do anything to the bottom like I would one of the newer Lodge or something that's got the bumps on it. Um, so that's it for now. I'm going to start my next piece.